sometimes that is better. Hey everybody, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Today we're talking just a little bit about Friday the 13th with kind of a big update though regarding Sean Cunningham's cameo bio. We might just have ourselves a new Friday the 13th film coming in 2023, but before I get into all of that, I'm going to need y'all to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. So now you might be clicking on this video and wondering to yourself, why have they not made a new Friday the 13th film recently? The last one was in 2009, there's this massive horror renaissance going on, you got the new Halloween movies that are super successful, Scream just had its relaunch also super successful, a bunch of horror franchises are having their continuation where is jason why is he not come back well there's unfortunately been this insane lawsuit that i just real quickly want to recap before we get into this big news for what feels like an eternity victor miller and sean s cunningham have been going against each other at court trying to figure out who gets the rights to what victor has won this case winning back his original friday the 13th script as well as rights in the u.s and kid jason specifically sean cunningham still owns the rights to adult jason and all the foreign rights which basically means that like if Victor was to go and make a movie he could make one about little baby Jason run, running around but he couldn't make one about adult Jason with a hockey mask killing people. Now Sean S. Cunningham could make a movie with a big dude in a hockey mask but you couldn't call him Jason and you couldn't call the movie Friday the 13th. So basically you have to have these two come together and make a movie or else it's just gonna feel completely off. I personally wouldn't want to see just one entity like doing a movie but I do have a theory regarding that which is possibly the worst timeline. <laughs> so the big news today comes from Cameo, specifically Sean Cunningham's page, where his bio has just changed in a very significant way. It reads, Sean S. Cunningham directed and produced the seminal horror film Friday the 13th, creating the iconic villain Jason Voorhees. The movie has spawned 12 installments with a 13th schedule for next year. <laughs> What? <laughs> Hold on, back up. What are you talking about? To my knowledge, it ain't scheduled for next year. What the fuck is going on with all this, Sean Cunningham? Now, like I was saying, Sean Cunningham, once again, could make a movie where it's just some big dude in a hockey mask running around. Doesn't need to be called Jason. Doesn't need to be called Friday the 13th. But if this bio says anything, though, it specifically says that a 13th installment in the Friday the 13th series is happening, which can only mean that Sean Cunningham and Victor Miller are working together for this upcoming new installment. That is a massive win for Friday fans, especially if what Roy Lee is saying is completely true about like we could be getting some kind of massive update before year's end about a new Friday film. This is a big deal. I already see so many people speculating as to when this film could release, and because this is a massive return to a wildly successful franchise, it could honestly come out whenever next year. I would speculate though much later in the year, so maybe like sometime between August and October would make the most sense, considering that they're probably in the developmental phase right now. But a new Friday the 13th I don't think it would be too difficult to make opposed to some of the other horror movies in the space right now. These movies typically have one location with just one killer and, a, and just a couple of characters. And honestly, I kind of just want the setting to be at like the summer camp. And I know that sounds kind of hypocritical coming from me. I am constantly preaching about how different I want the Scream franchise in particular to be with this new installments. But part of the charm of the Friday the 13th movies to me is that they kind of just do the same thing every single time, but they only twist and turn like one big knob to make it just ever so slightly different. Difference. One through three feature different killers, even though, yes, Jason in two and three is technically the same character. He has a completely different look. The fourth film introduces Tommy Jarvis, who is kind of like uh, Jason's final guy, essentially. That's a really big film in this franchise. The fifth movie has an imposter, Jason, played by a guy named Roy, which I think is funny. Jason Lives is a fan favorite because it implemented meta humor out of nowhere. And then part seven features a, like, Carrie final girl who has mind powers. And it keeps going from there. I mean, like, every installment brings something to to the table that's completely different than the last film and i really respect that about the friday the 13th franchise you hear this criticism a lot about it that it's like oh it's the same thing every single time but it's really not they always find a way to twist at least one knob and make it a little different every installment i think is worth a watch for that reason i think that there are some that are way better than others obviously i think jason goes to hell is is really tough to get through multiple times but i do think that every single movie in this franchise is worth a watch and is something valuable but to bring back this franchise i feel like it would be nice to have that familiarity aspect to it like setting it at a summer camp once again but there is room for improvement with this franchise i don't think that there's a friday film that is like a perfect 10 out of 10 i'll be completely honest maybe that's a hot take but i do think that they could do this concept a little better look at movies like x and halloween 2018 that are at the surface yes slasher movies but then also have these super well written and fun characters that elevate the movie to way new heights the friday the 13th franchise has almost always missed out on that i think for the majority of these movies 
movies, the characters are pretty bland and two-dimensional. So if they were to come out with a new Friday film where the the human story, the characters were actually really well written, and then also having Jason coming and kill most of them, that would be pretty awesome. Now, I do want to say this about uh, Halloween 2018 specifically, though. I am kind of getting sick of every requel, every continuation to a franchise, basically just copying and pasting everything that Halloween 2018 did into their franchise. I'm looking at you, Texas Chainsaw 2022. Friday does not need to do that. We don't need to bring back an old Tommy Jarvis to be like, oh man, Jason back in the day, he, he almost killed me or whatever. I mean, I'm sure fans would love that and would go nuts for some more Tommy Jarvis, but to me, all I could see there is just Laurie Strode versus Michael Myers. You're just doing that same thing because it's what's in right now. I would rather Friday the 13th just do its own thing. I mean, yes, this is a franchise that, you know, like I said, kind of is only in existence because it copied uh, <laughs> Halloween, but I think now is the time for Friday that kind of just do its own thing and, and be completely different. Something that these requels struggle with is balancing the new story with the old story. You typically have like these old like legacy characters coming back to be a part of like this brand new story with uh, also some new characters and sometimes it gets a little clunky. It's not an easy story to write because you have to have a lot more characters than something like you know one of the original Friday the 13th films that would typically have a smaller cast. So I really think a new Friday film would be aided by just having like eight brand new ca camp counselor characters and that's it. Like, just make it a smaller story. Those used to make for the best Friday films back in the day when it was just, like, a smaller cast. Think, like, Chapter 2. Think Chapter 4. I mean, like, I don't know. I just feel like that would make the best Friday film in the modern day. Small group of camp counselors. They're just vibing. They're good characters. They're well-written. Think, like, X. Some of the characters in that movie. They're all just a bunch of horny teens. They're hanging out. You know, they're just having a good time and all that. And then suddenly Jason Voorhees comes and fucking ruins the party. Too many of these horror continuations have gotten a little too complicated, in my opinion. I think some of them are great like Halloween 2018 I think is a masterpiece just in itself and it's really one of the best sequels in that entire franchise for not only replicating the feeling from that original movie but also doing something new and that was nice but now every franchise has done something similar to this if it's the new Candyman the new Texas Chainsaw or uh, you know Texas Chainsaw before Halloween 2018 so this for that franchise kind of did it twice what the fuck I think with this next phase of remakes requels whatever we got to start doing something different or we're gonna start losing interest yet again so don't just make Tommy Jarvis is Laurie Strode again. I mean, listen, he, Tom Matthews is amazing in the Never Hike Alone movies, and that's great. Hey, we got that. We got Tommy Jarvis back, kind of, in the Friday the 13th franchise. Even if it was in fan film form, you know that those movies are banging. Regardless of what they do with Friday the 13th, though, you have to admit we are in one of the greatest times for horror ever. Not only is there a continuation for just about every really big franchise, we're also getting these amazing original horror films. Like, we have Barbarian and Smile coming out real soon. Those look really good. X came out this year, Pearl comes out next month. Don't worry, darling. There are so many really good movies that have come out, not only this year, but the past couple of years. We're seriously in this wonderful renaissance for horror movies, and it's just amazing. I, there's just so much to talk about. I'm overwhelmed trying to make content right now, and honestly, I see that as a good thing. This is just a great time to be a horror movie fan. I don't know. It's awesome. What do you guys think about a brand new Friday the 13th film? What do you want from the film specifically? Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this new Friday the 13th video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Also, if you want to support this channel even further, you can support me either on Patreon or become a channel member by clicking that join button on my page. Thank you guys so much again for watching, and as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.